Warning, this is your audio and visual notification that graphic content lies ahead. Viewer discretion is advised. Look at these two dub I just shot. Stumpy nubs on both his feet. And this guy here is just nubs. They're supposed to look like this. Okay, 0.264 diameter A tip traveling 2780 at the muzzle. 25 yard headshot. It entered just in front of him below the eye. Smashed everything in its path. The jawbone is broken and came to a rest just underneath the skin. And here is what's left of the A tip. So here's that doe I shot in the face. Again, there's entrance. And straight line back. The only piece I cut was right here, right underneath the hole. I found the bullet resting right here underneath the skin. But yeah, it took out the bottom of the orbital socket and then the whole bottom of the skull smashing the, the jawbone the upper leg of the jawbone yep okay 264 diameter 135 grain a tip Initial impressions, I shot this song dog about 45 to 55 yards from my blind there. He was hard quartering too when I shot him. Um, yeah. I'd say a tip works just fine on coyote sized varmints. Okay, tailgate review of this coyote. He, he was hard quartering too, and I put the crosshairs right here. So it would been the shot would have been going this way through his body. Put the crosshairs right here, and I'm not even gonna cut him open because there is a golf ball sized exit right there. Actually, that's bigger than a golf ball. That's, I don't know if you see that. It's in, listen. That's a baseball, it blew a baseball. There we go. Yeah, it blew a baseball out of his shoulder blade. He was dead on the spot. Norma 156 grain, round nose soft point, about 20 yards high shoulder. Just decimated the lungs. Here's your educational video. A tips do not like brush. I was aiming right here. It broke that branch. Caught him right here behind the eye. Gave him a wobble antler. Okay, this was a Norma 30 caliber 180 grain bond strike on a white tail doe 
quartering to at about 50 yards. The entrance, mangled, front lobe of the lung, and decimated the rear of the lung on the opposite side. And it ripped open the liver too. There's another lobe of the liver. Esophagus, front lobe, track through to rear lobe and liver. And yes, it did open up some of the guts. Two six four diameter, one thirty five grain A tip, about ten yards, slightly quartering away. Here's the entry, bruising on the middle lobe, tore the entire bottom out of the front lobe, took out the top of the heart, and it looks like I just missed the front lobe on the other side. It came out of the far shoulder. Looks like it just missed bone. There's a piece of meat hanging out when I first uh, come up to it, but I already cut that off. Okay. Okay, so we entered right here through muscle. Here's the exit of the muscle, and it's already expanded to about nine sixteenths or five eighths of an inch. We entered and put my finger through the rib cage. Here we go. Through that muscle we blew a oh, like I said we hit a rib, so that blew out while we're inch and a half this way and two inches this way up the rib. And after passing through the organs, we have a passed in between two ribs. So we have a three quarter inch wide by two and a half inch wide exit. And then we come into here, exiting the rib cage where we broke. The ball joint. This leg is completely broken. Yep. <laughs> Pull out some some bone fragments. But that ball joint is gone up in here. Too. Might be able to pull it out. Nope. That tendon's still holding it in its socket, but. The head of that scapula has been split completely off. But here's the exit wound pulled apart. And then I can get it's about inch and a half by inch and a half wound in there where that bone is. There we go. Here's the bearing surface of the Part of the bearing surface of the scapula. Ball joint.